What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Back out here on the lake today, guys, doing some fishing. What are we doing? I don't know. We're going to run over here and hit this wall uh, that I normally don't fish that much. It's by the highway. I normally don't fish there because the road's kind of loud, but honestly, it's not that bad. I was kind of over there yesterday, and I caught some fish on the other side, but it's kind of fishing area. We haven't fished very much and see how it goes. And we're just going to fish, guys. We're going to do the bass thing. Just keep throwing, try to catch some bass today, see what happens. Man, there's an eagle up here. Domesticated. All right, guys, it's hot. The rest of this week's supposed to be real hot, so I want to get a video out. Try to catch some fish, man. We're on the back side of summer. Fall is coming. Bass is good in the fall, but it's a reminder that winter's coming. Some people like that. Me, personally, I'm not a fan, but it's okay. We're just going to keep on. We just got to roll with the punches, guys. It's the way it goes. That's just life. You got four seasons. <laughs> we're on the end of the summer season, so we're going into another season. But I appreciate y'all. Let's get out here. Let's do some fishing. Let's catch some fish. All right, guys, let's go. Let's catch some fish. All right, guys, first bass. I still got to do an intro. What I'm doing today, guys, is I'm going to run around and fish. What I always do, but I'm trying some new areas that I don't normally fish that much just due to pressure. Normally, I don't fish this side because of road noise, but... God, he broke my hook. Ow. My hook tie was weak, but what I was saying, due to road noise. But really, it's not that bad over here. It's not too bad. And I don't see people fish this area as much. One reason is because it's so sunny over here. Very sunny. All right, guys, first bass. Not a giant, but a good little bass nonetheless. And what I was saying was that a lot of people, I don't see fish right in this area due to, I think, just the sun. Sun is always shining over here. But yeah, guys, what I was saying was I retied my, my goat. It's sunny over here really sunny I think that keeps a lot of fishermen doing this time of year from fishing over here and kind of would nerf the bass a little bit but there could be a big one over here just because he ain't been pressured by anybody that much if there's a big one the goat will draw him out Here he comes. Oh, he's just following it. He's a big one, too. He followed it all the way out here. He wanted it, but he didn't take it. Maybe I should have kept moving it. There he is. There's another one. He's better. That was better than the first one. So I'm probably going to tear it up along this wall. It's a good large mouth. This is a good one. This is a real good one. Nice little bass. Look at that one. There we go. I ain't been here 10 minutes, guys. I've got one, had one follow it. Got another one. Great bass. All right, guys. Well, we fished over there. We caught a few bass right on that storm drain, and then it just it just died off, man. There wasn't nothing over there, so I ran over here, sat in the shade, retie or respool my reel. And you see how my reel is here. When I'm running my top water stuff, I don't like to fill that reel up. Actually, it's a little heavier than what I normally like to do it. But I was at the end of that spool of line, so. I went a little heavy because you're gonna blow through this line. You're gonna ruin. You're throwing top water. You know that line's gonna get ruined. They just come up and hammer that thing when they want it. Oh, 
there's a good one. Holy cow, it's a good one. Get him over the log. Ah, he's not that big. He felt great over there, though. <laughs> I thought he was way bigger than that. For a second, I'm just sitting down, chilling. Throwing. He's pretty decent. He's decent. Let's see if we can keep him from losing his mind when I grab him. Oh, yeah, he's good. This bass knows the drill. He's been caught before. Look at that little dude. Sorry, guys. Y'all might have been looking at this guy. I don't know. That's a pretty little bass. We're just throwing things, you know, trying to make magic happen out here. Hot day. Nobody's around. It's quiet. Like there a wind, but caught a little dude. It's a nice little stud. Give him the belly flop treatment. Give him the old belly flop treatment. He'll be just fine. I seen him come up, he gave himself away. He gave his uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't have as much leverage. He's a decent little bass. He's got a nicer one behind him. <clears throat> he gave himself away. I'm just sitting here throwing this thing around. I seen him bust a little piece of bait over here and I knew he'd smack this thing. I threw it right over at him. Chill, buddy. Relax. I use those a lot in early spring, and now it's time to start using them again. Look at this guy. Little guy, what up, buddy? Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm trying not to hold him. Wrong. Don't mess him up. He's a future big boy. All right, see what I'm using here, guys? I'm using just one of these new... Well, they're relatively new. They've been out less than a year, I think. Maybe they came out last year. Z-Man Gobies. I love this little weird thing. Even though I can't really figure out the best rig with it, but this the weedless I could do and that tail still moves a lot and I can swim it I can jig it I can do a lot with it well there we go finally give me some confidence with this freaking new setup all right, guys, we broke off earlier and we changed it up. We started throwing the goat on heavier stuff. I'm tired of breaking bass off. This is a good spot. This is a real good spot. It's a decent spot. Just tired of breaking bass off. Tired of it. So, oh man, this guy's mean. Nice old spot. Not a monster. Pretty spot though. Decent. All right, so what we did was put 15 pound braid on a spin on a on a bait caster here, and put 15 pound leader because I broke off so many fish on the goat. Now, granted, I feel like the goat works really good because of the white line. I believe it still does. This is definitely a concept that I still believe contributes to the goat, but I'm not saying that that's an all the time thing like I'm just saying like I'd rather catch a few less fish than break off the, all the big fish I catch like I have broke off this year so many big fish on this thing I really have yeah. it's a decent one oh, he's not He's fighting like a big one. I seen him move though. Oops, I didn't stop my trolling motor. Relax. Oh god. Bass is extremely mean. Little dude, look at him pretty. Look how mean he is. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Alright, guys. Go. I like. I I kick it myself, but I don't know why I didn't do this. Why did I not put this on a heavier stuff? I don't know. It's like... I don't know why I didn't switch this up. I think I like throwing the goat on this rod better, too. It's 
still a little shorter and I think I like it better. I think I can skip it a lot better because it is shorter. Which makes sense. Drive me crazy. Just gonna let y'all in on that since y'all can't really see my face. Got gnats all over my eyes. There's another one. Right back here. Besides that other one. Maybe a little smaller. Alright, guys, I come back over here. Caught some little goose. Some mean freaking largemouth. Hey, buddy. Hey, I'll take them all day. I like the confidence they're giving me. That's a good one. Might be the best one of the day. Oh, that is a... Oh my god, that was a freaking, freaking tank. God, that was a beast, guys. I didn't break him off, he just came off. All right, guys, well, I think that is that for today. Caught a few bass. It wasn't so bad. Started off in a new area, worked in the sun for an hour and a half. That was kind of rough. Caught a few bass off the beginning. Sorry, guys, I burped. Trying to hold that up. A few bass off the beginning, then fished that for a while, stayed in the sun for a minute, come back over here, caught a few, caught a few other little ones, broke off a few fish that I didn't show them again. One made me real mad because I'm just like, why am I fishing like this with this? So then I changed up, put a different rod on, tried throwing heavier braid, a little heavier leader, throwing the goat, and I actually skip it better, and I caught a big bass, like a big one, at least a five pounder, and it spit me didn't break me off though i broke off more fish this year than i like to admit and i'm like why but i had this in my mind that i'm like i gotta use this lighter lime because they like hitting it i'm like want to beef it up a little bit i even told myself i'm gonna go from 10 to 12 and i never did i stayed at 10 now i'm running 15 so i went up even more because i'm just so frustrated and i'd rather just catch less fish if that's the case and break less but it didn't seem to be i actually caught a real big one out there he just come off but then we'll call it a day i'm tired and I want to go home, get something to eat. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned until next time, guys. We'll be back real soon to make another video. And as always, or I, what did I say? I said it wrong, but it don't matter. As always, guys, I'll see y'all guys again next time. Or I'll see y'all later. Or whatever. It don't matter. Go out and go fishing. Fall is coming. I appreciate y'all guys. See y'all.